Welcome back. Let's talk about Seattle, Washington, because there's three quarters of a million people that live there and it could be important to them and it could be important to you as well. So thank you very much for joining me and let's just kind of jump in on this. So usually I'm covering the areas outside of the Seattle city limits. I'm covering like Linwood, Lake Stevens, Bothell, Kirkland, Tacoma, Puyallup. But I'm actually going to give you a kind of an overview of Seattle today. And it's a very large overview, just so you know, this could be a little bit heavy, but there's about 4,600 lines of data that I had to go through on this. So that's a lot of home sales, so you have an idea. So thank you for joining me. Let's kind of jump in on this. So Seattle, Washington is located, obviously, inside of Washington. We have the Pikes Peaks Market. We have Seattle Space Needle, as well as the EMP and a couple of other things that you might uh, know of. Also, the Seattle Seahawks play here, right there. And they need to practice more because they're having a rough time. I've been a fan now for about 20 years and, uh, you know, it's kind of painful sometimes. So let's, uh, let's get into the actual demographics of Seattle. So the demographic side, there's 737,000 people that live here. Uh, and this is as of uh, 2020 uh, census data. Our housing unit is about 368,000 housing units inside of Seattle, and that includes apartments, condos, townhouses, single family homes, and also some floating boats, um, some boat houses, uh, just so you have a general idea. Our bachelor degree ratio is about 67% uh, have bachelor degrees or higher inside of Seattle, and also our average income is about 115,000 a year. Employment is right around 71. Now, if you came to me and you said, hey, Victor, I want to buy a house inside of Seattle, I'd be like, great. Um, there's currently uh, 1,181 homes available for purchase inside of Seattle proper. Uh, this is everywhere, um, you know, just inside of Seattle itself. What, and our average home price comes out to one million one hundred twenty-six thousand, and it's been on the market for about eighty-seven days. It's about two and a half bedrooms and about two baths, uh, just so you have an idea. And it's also seventeen hundred square feet. Our price per square foot comes out to six hundred and fifty-four dollars a square foot. Now, this kind of stuff might not uh, matter to you, or you not might not know what it means. But I'm actually going to break it down for you. Uh, but this is how I can tell now uh, the, you know, how much things cost in this area. So on average, it's available on market right now for $654 a square foot. So if you bought a house that was 1,000 square feet, it would be 654000 on average. So uh, what I did is I took the four years of every November since November of 2020, through this November that we just had, November 2023. And I did a deep dive into the numbers and I came out with about 4,600, 4,700 uh, lines of data uh, inside of this. And I came up with an average sized home inside of Washington being sold each November for the last four years. The average home looks like about 1,760 square feet and it's three beds and two baths. Now, when I take our price per square foot for each year, and I average that into the home prices, I came up with a value of the homes approximately averaged home inside of, Washington, uh, inside of Seattle for the last four years. Now, if you bought the average house, that 1760 square foot, three bed, two bath house inside of Washington, inside of Seattle, in November of 2020, you would have paid on average uh, $864,000. Now, if you waited one year, it would have increased in value roughly 14%, and it would be worth $985,000. That's November to November of 2020 to 2021. Now, the next year in November of 2022, when I did all the numbers for November of 2022, it actually went down about 4%, and it's also because our interest rates changed at that time. But the values kind of corrected to $946,000. So it took a little bit of your gains away, but at the same time, you're still above your purchase price. In November of 2023, the one that we just finished this year, um, 
it's actually just a hair over one million dollars. It's one million dollars, uh, one million and one hundred and twenty-six dollars on average is the value of the house if you bought that seventeen hundred and sixty square foot three bed two bath house. And again, condition isn't included in this. You know how many floors you have, anything like that at all. This is just a general aggregate number of the value of the homes. Now, the one thing that I want to talk about on this is the sales data, uh, the sales volume, actually, inside the data. Because in November of 2020, we had 1,060 sold homes inside of November. The November 2021, we had uh, 1,156, so it's about a 9% increase in home sales uh, from year over year. In November of 2022, November of 2022, this is when we had our interest rates change. We only had 615 homes sold. So it was 47% decrease in home sales. And that's November over November. And this is all of sold homes inside of Seattle. Now in November of 2023, the one that we just finished right now, we had another uh, roughly 7% decrease in home sales. And we completed just a couple of days ago, uh, 574 home sales inside of Seattle. So now you have a general idea of where the volume is going with the home sales themselves. Now we take that average home sale also, and we take that average house and we come up with that 1760 square foot house. It would cost on average right now to buy that million dollar house, that three beds, two bath, 1760 square foot house. It would now cost a mortgage roughly $6,500 a month to actually buy that house. This is not including any taxes, insurance, HOAs, special assessments, anything like that at all. But if you want to actually rent that, it's going to be about two thirds less than that. It's going to roughly cost you on average $4,300 to rent that out instead of the $6,500 to actually buy it. So it's about a third of, third of the cost more to buy right now than it is to rent. Um, it's actually almost 50% more uh, to buy now than it is to rent inside of Seattle. So this is one of the reasons why we're also seeing our uh, decrease in sales volume inside of Seattle. It's because of the unaffordability and usually rents are more than purchase costs. And that's the reason why people lock in their rates for the next 30 years and they end up planting some roots. Now, specifically, I want to get into the other side of this. And this is the mortgage calculator because I did the mortgage calculator inside of this uh, for uh, Seattle. And I came up with the average home. Uh, the average medium income is 115,000, remember? Now, when I plug it into this actual calculator here, it only comes up with a purchase price roughly of $440,000. Well, our average home being sold right now on the market is 1 million bucks. Now, to actually qualify for that, you would have to make roughly two and a half times more the income in the area to actually qualify for that loan. Because when I put in 285,000, now you can qualify for that home. But as I said, our average income is 115. So we're seeing a buyer curve issue here, as well as it's again, more affordable to rent than it is to buy. So the reason why I kind of do this stuff is I wanna give you guys an overview of what's going inside of the market in this, because there's a lot of different things that are going on, as well as you're not always going to have to buy a house um, and it specifically has to be done on your own time so if you're going to be buying or if you're going to be selling you need to know where the market is right now as well as the fact that everyone's financial uh, situation is different everyone's story is different so please take your time have have the time um, take the time to actually talk to people and real estate agents like me you know my number's right on the on the screen right now also, I want to leave you with a, uh, a, a resource for you, but this is my website. It's victorashley.com. It's a direct link into the MLS, as well as it can allow you a automated valuation of your home. And you can also see what's available out there for purchase in this area. 
if you have questions with this kind of stuff you you could just reach out to me you can just click on this link right here and see who this guy is talking to you on the internet right now and as always i hope that you guys have a great day because i really enjoyed working with you thanks